Welcome back to Positive Energy. I'm your host, PJ Zanzias, and today we get the treat of interviewing Gas House President and CEO, Kevin Greiner. I've had the opportunity to get to know Kevin over the last 11 years, and it's been an incredible journey of growth. We recently acquired Infinite Energy, and today we'll be walking through that acquisition and talking about a lot more things. So Kevin, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right. So Gas South executed its largest acquisition in the middle of a global pandemic. What was that like? Well, in a word, it was a little surreal, you know, uh, going through the whole process of negotiating a deal virtually. It was an unusual process, but I think it came together the way that it did because we shared so many similarities in terms of culture and the way that we do business. We were both able to move fairly quickly. I think we established a, um, a good element of trust on each side, and that enabled us to basically decide that, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Let's put these two great companies together, make it into something even better. What stood out about Infinite, and specifically, what did you see for it for the future? Well, you know, the, the acquisitions that we did before Infinite were what I would call tuck-in acquisitions. They were smaller. It was like, you know, basically buying a, um, a, a, a book of customers that maybe came with a couple of employees who would come over, would sort of manage the customer relationships and everything. But um, Infinite's different. Uh, this is really buying a true operating company uh, that has hundreds of employees and uh, tens of thousands of customers and some really, really strong capabilities in a variety of areas. We're trying to take the best of both worlds. So we're trying to say, well, what does Gas South do really well? What does Infinite do really well? We're going to blend those things together. I know that we've expanded a lot over the last six years alone. So, you know, when we first started in 2006, we were just in Georgia. Now we're in Georgia, uh, portions of Alabama, Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, Ohio, New Jersey, uh, obviously Florida. Did you ever think that we'd be this big? Well, I did starting in about 2012, 2013. And that's when our parent company, CobbMC, had a new board come in that was very supportive of Gas South's growth. And they really challenged us to figure out, hey, where can you guys succeed in the market? Where can you build up some scale? Uh, and over time, you know, we've insourced a lot of capabilities that we used to rely on outside partners for. We really strengthened our internal capabilities as a company. And so, uh, and we invested quite a bit in different technology platforms and sales platforms that we knew we could apply across, you know, a bigger customer base if we had the right opportunity. So I would say that, you know, starting in about those years, we knew, hey, there's an opportunity to build something here that's bigger. We are going to need to invest and prepare for it. And fortunately, the opportunity with Infinite just kind of came along at the right time. So our purpose is to be a fuel for good. So when, when we grow, that growth means different things. How does that impact the community that we serve? Yeah, great question. So as part of our purpose of being a fuel for good is of course our pledge to give back 5% of our profits to children in need. So as we grow our profitability and we expect to do so, you know, having acquired Infinite, otherwise we wouldn't have done it, right? We expect our profitability to go up, that becomes 5% of a bigger number. And that means that we can do more in the communities, not just in Georgia now, but also in Florida, and in the Carolinas and some other places where we've really you know, built nice businesses also. The other thing that the increased scale does in terms of being a fuel for good is it gives the opportunity to deploy more volunteers. You know, we have a real commitment to volunteerism at Gas South, as did Infinite, by the way. So now we have employees that are located in Georgia, located in Florida, uh, some located in the Carolinas as well. And it allows us to really do more in terms of uh, volunteering our time, whether that be service projects, serving on not-for-profit boards, uh, skills-based volunteering projects, all those things I think you know, really expand as well. So it's really about you know, bringing more of our you know, time and treasure to uh, do more good in the community. So kind of a fun question as our last question. If you were to go back and we're in 2006, I think you were 35, 36 years old at the time, what would you tell yourself? 
Well, the first thing I would say is don't look so surprised the next time when somebody asks you to be CEO, because <laughs> uh, I probably was like deer in the headlights look for a moment and uh, trying to figure out, you know, if they were talking to me or the guy that was sitting behind me that uh, wasn't over my shoulder. But, um, you know, besides that, in all seriousness, I think, you know, one of the other things that I would do is say to my old self, you know, trust your intuition a little bit more. Um, you know, surround yourself with great people, which I was able to do the first time around, but I think that was really, really important. I had uh, leaders that came along for the ride who had a lot more experience than I had. That was extremely important uh, because I had no real concept or knowledge of how to run a business. I had some people on our leadership team that did. That was super positive. I would say um, also be but be more intentional about the culture that you want to build. We're always a purpose-driven organization, PJ, but really conveying that and articulating that in being a fuel for good as our purpose and having everything else flow from that was really helpful. And uh, I would challenge my old self to spend more time thinking about, hey, what is the culture that you want to have? What's your purpose as a company? And then really build it out from there. Well, thank you guys for joining us today on Positive Energy. If you need more information about the recent acquisition of Infinite Energy, go to our website at www.gasout.com. Again, follow us and thank you for joining. Be safe out there.